hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Audrey and in today's video we are going to be doing a spring living room tour guys I do lifestyle video but under my lifestyle video I do a lot of decorations and I want to show you how I, I do my decorations and where I get my stuff from to make my life easy and to make my my house become more of a home it's not totally done but I just thought I should show you how i did my decoration for this spring so without further ado guys come with me so guys when you walk into my home my living room is by the right and to the left is my there are my staircase going up to my bedrooms my living room is in the form of l it's in the l form so i'm going to start at uh, the the first part of my living room which is i consider it as the former living, living space so guys when you on my left here is my side table this side table i got it long long time ago it's over like five years today i cannot really remember where i got it from it has this gold detail and the black which i like and it, because the theme of my home is mostly neutral tones black white gold and a bit of silver just the neutral tones so this vase this circular vase i got this vase from uh, h&m home online you can get it online and um, i think this is a 20 it was around 24 euros or so 24 29 euros or so i think it's in around 29 euros and furthermore is this a lamp i got this from a tr from a goodwill from goodwill it came in a in a wood color i decided to paint it black because to match the theme of my home and i love it more in black color the, the, the wood was i didn't really enjoy the color of the wood so i had to spray paint it with matte paint to have that black look which is very beautiful i find it very nice and then going this way is my curtains i got this curtain from ikea i think it's a hija and these curtains guys is very beautiful i like white curtains because it brings in so much light into my home which is what i've been craving for i love a lot of light it makes it it makes my home look spacious and big so i always like going for white curtains in my home so the next thing is this beautiful sofa i got this on facebook marketplace where somebody uh, who is having a shop, secondhand shop for sofas and for expensive sofas, but that's on secondhand shop. So I bought this for around 600 euros. The next are these beautiful pillows. Guys, the, 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 the pillow itself, the pillow cushion, the cushion itself, the inner, the filler, it came from ikea and this is a 45 by 45 no 50 by 50 pillow and the pillow cases they came from h and m h and m home these ones are also these fluffy fur pillows it came from a shop here in belgium home market where they say i bought it for around uh, six six euros this is my pillowcase i did myself i bought just a regular tablecloth from from a scandinavian shop here in belgium guys you know materials are very expensive and that is the reason why i say sometimes i in my own style of deco i like to do things myself because it costs a little bit it's cheaper if I want if you want to buy pillows every day from the shop is very expensive so I like buying materials and then sewing them myself so this is a pillow I made out of a tablecloth I bought in a Scandinavian shop and also this 
the front part I bought is the section of um, hand cloth. So I got that from there and then I sewed my own pillowcase with it. So because I love the way it looks and it gives me the black and white color. So coming further this way. Coming further this way is this palm tree plant. I love my greeneries at home. This I got from those living in Belgium, Brico. Where you, I got this as it was on promotion, I think. So I got this around 25 euros. Furthermore, is this vase which I spray painted it black. I got it from it's a thrifted uh, vase. I got it for around three euros, and I bought just some regular matte paints from from the shop, and then I spray painted it black to match my color. It was just a white vase, beautiful, but I didn't find um, I didn't find the design beautiful. So I just said, okay, let me spray paint it black. So I really love this. And also this tray here with the gold and silver candles. I bought this tray from Action for those living in Belgium. It has this little gold detail on it. So I got the candles also during the Christmas, the Xmas period because last Christmas was one of my favorite colors for my Christmas tree was silver. So I bought this candle and it still fits the decor now. So that's why I have this. A breast gold tray with a gold candle and a silver candle on it. Here on the wall is this beautiful flower made out of metal with mirror, mirror, um, with mirrors on it. This I got two of them from Home Market. It's a, it's a Turkish, I think, Turkish shop here in Belgium. It's also found, I, when I came visiting in America, I also found home market. I was so surprised to find home market in uh, Maryland. So, but then I got this one here. I, bought two, I, I got two of them here in Belgium. It's a metal flower and it's prepented black and it's just my vibe. So I thought it was beautiful to hang it here and I find it very, very beautiful. So guys, furthermore, this way is my fireplace, suppose fireplace. I had this, when we bought this home, we had this fireplace with it. And then I decided to, it has this beautiful, this beautiful design already on it. I had it on the two sections of my living room and I just decided to spray paint it white. This picture frame, I also it's a thrifted material that is a thrifted uh, frame that I bought, and I decided that I wanted it was a green color, but I decided that I don't like the color. I wanted to spray paint it to a color that is going to match my living room style and the decor that I was going, I was going for. So I spray painted this with metallic silver, and I find it very beautiful with these gold details on it. Furthermore, is this lamp, this uh, tower, sorry, this tower, Eiffel Tower in Paris. I got this when I went, when my sister came visiting from America and we decided to go to Paris and we bought this from the guys that were selling it around the Eiffel Tower. It's a beautiful piece and I love it because it matches my decor with this gold, this brass gold details on it. It's just perfect. When I bought it, it came with, with little lights. You can switch it on, but I don't know. This time around, maybe the battery is dead or something. I can't get the light on anymore. It's very pretty in the night with lights on. So I also got these two candles. These candles were silver, but I didn't really like the the material the, the the material on the candles 
so i decided to spray paint it black guys i love my black color matte black especially so i spray painted it black and then i just put these white candles on it Another is this mirror i find it very beautiful but it still has a lot of work to be done because i have to fill up this place to make it more beautiful and bring a design to it this mirror actually came up from my old bar i had so it was so beautiful i thought what i cannot discard a big mirror like this one because it's very expensive to get this mirror this kind of size and my lifestyle is like i don't throw things away i try to see what i can make out of it to make my home beautiful i don't just throw stuff away so this is one of the bar i had in my home and i didn't want to throw this mirror because i know it's very expensive and you can make good decor with it so i just have to throw the cupboard the wood and allow the mirror here it still has a lot of work to be done i have to design around the mirror with either silver or gold so that i can match my style of decor and i'm not sure if i'm going to allow in the long run here or i'm going to buy something else but for now it's perfect down here I also these pillows it's same pillow i also got it from home market around six dollars and it's beautiful the fur is beautiful guys this pillow is nice you can actually soak it in water and then wash it and dry it comes back same it doesn't get dirty one thing you have to know about me is i love pillows uh, you buy where you buy your pillow covers and your uh, pillow filler separately because I always like to wash my pillows. I think if I buy pillows that are not being washed, it can be few. But really, 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 I love buying my pillowcases separately from my pillow so I can alternate them, change the decor, and then I also wash them. That's what I do. So this pillow also this. Pillow is one I had here in the house, but the pillowcase I also made it myself. The pillowcase is made, I made it myself, I sold it myself. Guys, I actually bought my sewing machine. I've never done sewing before, but I think it's more economical. If you can learn, you don't need any technique to sew. To, you, don't, you, you mustn't have gone to school before learning how to sew. Buy your machines the way the machines are made now. It's easier for somebody who has not got any experience to sew something. So I made my pillows by myself. As I explained before, I always try, I always love doing things where it's going to be economical. I don't like buying expensive things are expensive. I like to DIY my things myself so that it becomes cheaper. If you want to buy things every day, guys. It costs a lot of money and trust me decor pieces are very expensive they are very very expensive so in my channel I always like to show you what I do to make my living affordable and still very beautiful so that's why I decided to buy a sewing machine so I can make my own pillow cases by myself because I like changing pillow cases and I like changing my decor all the time so guys this is what I made and this fur this beautiful skin fur i got this from action i got it for around 10 euros guys it was a steel and the fur is so beautiful it doesn't pluck out like when you pull it you don't see anything this is so beautiful beautiful and again it matches my decor white you can never go wrong with white guys so underneath this fur that I use as a troll, I got this beautiful bench from Action. And then I went further to look for another bench because this was really beautiful and it fits this environment. But I needed one more bench for my living room and I found now that you can see have this in any Scandinavian sh uh, shop. So guys, this I got for, from Action for only 29 euros. I think 29 to 30 euros. Very beautiful. It's very strong. You can use it. Sit on it. It doesn't break. It's very, very nice. And also affordable. So, 
going to my right of my former living room. So to the right of my former living room is still the a sofa, same as the other sofa I showed you before. This is a three-seater, and the other one was a two-seater. So this one is a two-seater, and the other one is a three-seater. So guys, yeah, you also have this throw, this beautiful throw. I got this for from IKEA, and it cost me like 15 euros. That's $49.99. And also here, I also got this beautiful fur pillow, still from the home market. They have really good fur. It's so nice and soft. They have really good material. Guys, I've had this for long. And I wash them, it doesn't change. It's, as it gets dry, it comes back to normal. Also here, these other pillow covers, all these pillow covers here, I got them from H&M Home. These beautiful pillow covers. I got them from H&M Home. And here on my wall, guys, it's a mirror. I love this mirror. It has this beautiful, like, diamond-shaped design on it. I got this mirror for, from Home Market, guys. It's very affordable, but it still gives me the glam, the beauty I want. This mirror, I cannot remember the size, but it only cost me 50 euros. This beautiful vase, it's also a thrifted vase that I just prepainted it black. And then I added some, then I finished it up with a sparkle gold paint on it, which gave me this beautiful gold color that you see here. And these flowers, guys, it's a flower made up of, out of palm, palm trees. It's dry palm trees. Guys, I love, love, love. If you see, it's made out of dry palm trees and it's painted black. I got this from home market. So coming back over this way to my left hand side, guys, is this flower, this big vase of flower here. I got this vase from Kring Winkle. It's a trip, it's a goodwill, some sort of goodwill shop here in Belgium where the people donate things there and they sell it for cheaper prices so as to raise money to help those who don't have the less privilege. So I bought this vase there for around eight to nine euros. Guys, that was that's a good deal. To get this kind of vase in the shop is very expensive. And this bouquet of flowers here, I got some from Ikea and I got this one in a Holland shop when I went for a visit in Holland in around December. So guys, it gave me this pretty bouquet I have here. Guys, furthermore here, I told you my living room is in an L form. So I, the part I just showed you is my, I could start in my former living room and as you come further in, you are meeting another living space and this i consider it my family living space this is where everything happens we sit here we watch tv here we do everything here on my left hand side is this tv we had this tv like three years ago my husband bought it from crefil i cannot remember the dimension but i think it should be around 60 inches or so I cannot really remember but this TV has got a long way as you all know guys I bought this TV before I even started YouTube guys this brings me to the fact that my channel is only 10 months old guys only 10 months old that I started this channel it's been challenging it's not easy guys please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you get notified. And don't forget to thumb up. Like my video, it's going to help me a lot to know what you guys really like and what I should do. And it's going to help me grow. Guys, 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 please don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. It's going to help me a lot. So furthermore, is this console table, guys guys i love 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 this consultable my husband and i got this from 
a good wheel shop still. Kringwinkle. But this is Kringwinkle in a town, this little village called Kapelen or so. This console table, guys, I love it so much. It came in a dark brown wood and I didn't really love the color. So I spray painted it black. And this, and then I, I bought these gold handles from Action to put them there, and it gave me this glam look, guys. I really love this console table. It has a lot of storage where I can put some books in. I'm not really going to go in there, guys. I put some books here, and on this side, it's just my decor, my decor pieces, vases, candles, anything decor. I see them here and here. So on this console table, guys, are these beautiful vases. This is an, um, a sculpture I got from from H and M Home. That's an online shop, and I think I got this for twenty nine dot twenty nine euros. And this beautiful vase, I got it for around fifteen euros. This candle. It's on both sides of the table. I got this candle from Action. This, I, I just love the gold detail on it and the, the, the design of it. I got this candle in Action for 4 euro a piece. And this candle, I just bought this from a regular shop here in Belgium. This white candle as well. Then I just because it really matches my decor, the, what I was going in for, the black, the white, the gold colors, just a neutral tone. And coming further here also, guys, is this home sign. And a book, how do you call it? A book holder or something. I, this, it came, it came in white, but I didn't really like the white. I wanted to bring more of a little bit of gold because my walls of my house is pure white. And I didn't want to have just white, 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 white. So I wanted a little bit of touch of gold. And so I decided to spray paint this one with gold. And these are some, just some regular books I got from a thrifted store also. Guys, I want to say something. Thrifted materials are not bad materials. They are good materials. It depends on what you are looking for. You have to know what you want or good things and to know how to flip them. You have to know how to DIY them. There are things found in thrifted stores that are so beautiful and really, really expensive if you were to buy them in, the, in a regular shop or in a high-end shop. Those are really good stuffs, expensive stuffs that are packed there and sold. So if you know how to flip them over, guys, it's going to make a good decor piece. I don't mean you should go and pick everything from the thrift store because obviously there are things that, that are not beautiful, but you should know good things and know what you want and what you can do with them. And if you flip them, guys, like I do here, guys, it's going to make your home beautiful. Trust me. You should take time to look for them. Don't just pick anything. Just take time, organize yourself, and look what you want from a thrift from thrifted stores, and you are going to enjoy your decor. So furthermore here, guys, it's also these two vases. This also I got still from H&MO home. Online. I got this there. I got this. That is the, the bigger size and the smaller size. So guys, I still love them. And this candle, that same as I put on the other side of the Wait. console. Table. Here on my wall. Here on my wall. It's a clock. I got from Action. It's has these beautiful pearl stones inside which is silver and then the clock guys i just love that it brings that glam into my home it's so beautiful it's so pretty and here is also a a photo a frame i got from action it says be the reason someone smiles today guys i just love to bring that positive energy into my home by putting so words like this that make somebody feel encouraged feel loved so i find it very glam and beautiful and it suits my decor style furthermore this way is this beautiful gold tray it was actually silver guys and i decided to paint this tray gold 
this is a tray i've had in my home for like some years back so i decided to just bring it here to light up my decor and i also have this beautiful ball actually it's a christmas ball <laughs> i bought it to decorate for christmas but i find it with this silver beautiful glam that it has i decided to merge it with it put it in this tray together with this candle to bring me a nice decoration guys always try your things at home shop from your home try them out you'll be surprised what you can give so this here are some two albums I bought when I visited, visited my friend in Belgium, in Germany. These albums, I have them here to put our extra photos. Those I cannot hang on the wall. I put those photos there for our guests when they come. We can see, give them, they'll flip over and glance through it. And it makes the day, the day goes by beautifully. Back in Africa, this is what we do. We have photo albums where we stock photos in and we present them to our visitors. So. I see how my African culture and I don't change from that. So furthermore, there is just a picture frame that I put the, the, the photo of my, my daughter in it. So guys, coming down here is this beautiful black basket, guys. This is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it closely. It's beautiful. This is where I put my extra pillow and guys, it's so beautiful. It just gives me that coziness, that beautiful, cozy vibes that I'm going for. It's the same pillows that are here, the pillow covers that are here, the are same you're going to find in my home. So it just gives me that beautiful coziness that I'm looking for here. This basket actually is very it was very expensive one of the expensive piece i bought from for decoration here it was around 50 euros that i got this so guys on this side furthermore is this beautiful pillow i got this actually that says home i got this actually from carrefour guys the big Carrefour here in Belgium is a shop, a big shop here in Belgium that sells pro, uh, gr grocery and also home, uh, household equipment, school equipment. It's a really big shop. It has everything inside. So I got this there. That's this this uh, pillow. I got this for around 15, 15 euros for a piece. I've got I got two of them. One in white and one in black, 15 euro. That has this home sign. And also here, this is a pillowcase, guys. Most of my pillowcases, I get them from 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 H and M home. Actually, most that I have here for my decor today came from H and M home online. So this pillow with this detail on it. It see matches the decor that I wanted to go for a black decor, and then this straw, I got it still from IKEA. It's some sort of dark grayish. I was going, I was looking for a black one, but I couldn't find any, so I went with this dark gray color, and I got this from IKEA for around fifteen euros. That's forty ninety nine, fifteen euros. So guys, further this way is this beautiful side table slash bass. <laughs> guys, I bought this from Action. And guess what? I find it beautiful and it costs just $30. 30 euros, sorry. <laughs> and this is my mini bar here in my home. If you look around in my living room, we have no bar. So this is the only place where I, for now, think I can make my bar. I find it very beautiful because it adds a little bit of color to my decor and to my living space. It makes it beautiful. Here, normally, I was supposed to put some beautiful glasses, but the ones I ordered is not yet here. So I decided to put this beautiful vase that I got from a Goodwill shop still. And I got this for around eight, uh, eight euros. 
and this beautiful bouquet i got some of the flowers here from ikea and some from a shop in brussels just a regular shop selling some flowers so that's why i got this and i have this beautiful bar and this flower here guys i love it i like the the, the vibes it gives to my decor and here are same blinds i got from ikea these beautiful white blinds i think it's Haja, ha, Haja. So guys, these beautiful white curtains, I got this still from Ikea. These are same curtains I got uh, for my former living room. And guys, I got two packets of these. These curtains are beautiful. In, in a packet comes two curtains inside. So actually, these are four curtains. And I love their curtains. This particular curtain is very nice. I don't know. It has. It's so beautiful. I think it, I'm going to leave the kind of curtain down and the size I got. I made. I took my curtains right up to my ceilings to make this window. This is actually a window, guy. If you see that going to my backyard and everything, this is a big window and a door. How do you say that? Is that a pool door or I don't know how you call it. But actually, you can go outside from here or you can go through my kitchen outside. So it gives me this beautiful coverage I want and the curtains are so, so beautiful, guys. I like white again to bring light into my home. White is beautiful. Here is my, my coffee table. This coffee table I got it in Facebook Marketplace. And this cost me, guys only 50 euros this came the legs of the coffee table came in some sort of gray material gray silver something like that but it was actually not beautiful but i saw the potentials of the table so i decided to spray paint it black matte black i gave a matte black spray on it and that is how it gave me this beautiful color actually the glass was still very nice but the the, the, the legs of the coffee table was not so pretty so I spray painted that and have this beautiful coffee table only for 50 euros guys and so on top of my coffee table is this beautiful tray I also got from Action and it only cost me 10 euros and then I got this vase also from a thrifter store where I got the other vases and this was also white color to spray paint this face black so that is what i have here and then i just use a material from that i use in making my pillowcases and then i just give this little bit of texture here on the vase guys i love it so also on the coffee table is this beautiful flower it's porcelain this is really heavy guys this is very expensive actually i got this from a shop here in belgium and this cost me 50 euros for this flower just this flower it's very beautiful some gold details on it guys if you can see this was very expensive and then i have this beautiful glass the dolphin i have this beautiful dolphin made out of glass on my coffee table i cannot remember the price because that's been a long time ago that i have this and then i have my remote control for my tv here in here on this coffee table are books guys these are books i got from thrifter store but since the books i ordered for uh, from uh, amazon are not yet here before this home tour i decided to diy my books so guys that is all for, and then here also i have this beautiful candle this is how it is guys it's a white candle that came in this beautiful silver silver uh, um, container and this beautiful cover okay so we are going to go to this side of my, my living room actually this is the door leading to my kitchen and my dining and this door guys when we came into this house this was not there it was some crampy door that was found here my husband actually 
got a door from a second hand shop, increased the length, and then uh, he placed it here. So we have this rolling door that closes beautifully into the living room and to the kitchen. From the living room to the kitchen. It's very beautiful. I also forgot to show you here, guys. Actually, when we came here, this was not this all this uh, uh, um, radiation radiation uh, radiator cover was not here. It was just the radiator exposed in the open air, and it was so ugly. So I came up with the idea of making my own radiator cover, guys. Here, yeah, you have to learn how to DIY things. If not, you're going to spend a lot of money. That's why that this way my living space here is this beautiful side table this is also a side table I've had this for over three years this side table there are two of them over three years now but I, I, I can't still remember how much I bought them I bought this from the shop. It was really expensive at that time, but I cannot remember how much I got them. So, on top of this side table is this beautiful glare candela. Actually, I got two of these candelas for 20 euros, 10 euro a piece. And then, on top of this side table too is this beautiful box it's actually a jewelry a jewelry box that i got from action last christmas and this was like 15 to 20 euro around 15 20 euro i went to a goodwill shop actually i got this beautiful lamp here for 60 euros guys so above the wall here guys is this beautiful mirror I got it at home at home market and this mirror cost me 60 euros it's bigger than the other one I showed you in my former living room space which is 50 euros but this is then six euros I got two of them and to this side is my sofa my sofa I got these sofas in a shop here in Belgium how do I call that shop comfort mobiles it's found in Antwerp. Guys, I spent a lot of money on these sofas. This cost me like 3,500 euros to get these sofas. It's nice. Here on my wall here, you have this picture frame. I decided to make uh, a wall gallery here. And it's mostly my family. And this uh, picture frame, the picture frame, the black ones, Actually, I it's a thrifted uh, um, free, it's thrifted. I bought it from a thrifted store. So I flipped them. It was also a those dark wood gray, uh, dark wood color, brown color, and I did not love the color. So I also spray painted it black, and I wanted it to have some touch of. See, if you come closer, you see some touch of paint here, gold some gold um, lining inside here I really really do love this frame they were pretty inexpensive I bought um, all these five like this for 15 euros it was really really inexpensive but still beautiful you see gives me the black the gold details on it it gives me the glam so next to the thrifted uh, picture frames we have these frames from Ikea but the drawing inside guys I did it myself Guys, do you remember when we were in primary school in Cameroon? Those who are from Cameroon, we always like drawing flowers and all those things. We never knew the, the use of those things. But actually, now that I've grown and my scope of decor is wide and I see things in a different way, I now understood that those drawings we usually do and we regard it as just mere drawings are actually very good drawings, guys. So I draw this flower. It's a version I saw online. And it was, I could not download it at that time, but I decided to draw it myself since I had those uh, papers I ordered from 1 to 3 ink. I have them at home, so why should I go and buy 
um, a frame. I can still buy frames, guys. Don't get me wrong. I can, but flat frames like this, I can easily do them myself. So I decided and I drew these frames. And in school, when I was back in Cameroon, we learned something like calligraphy. I learned how to write. That's calligraphy, writing in a special way. So I did this writing. That's a long time ago. I've forgotten some of it. It's not perfect, but I like the imperfections in it. it that's the that's what gives the beauty of this of this frame the imperfections so i just wrote uh, love is family i love my family that cannot even i cannot even tell a lie about it i love love of my family so i said love is family guys the idea is making this house a home making it comfortable for me and my children and seeing pieces that i really love so here i also drew this one and it said love grows as a flower so i love what what is on it and this is how I make, I make this my gallery wall and I hope, hope, hope it inspires someone out there to try to do things yourself, get yourself busy, sit up and get going and try to do certain decor pieces by yourself is going to save you a lot, 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 lot of money. It's going to save you a lot of money. And so on this other side of my sitter, um, so far I have this other mirror that same piece as the other hand it's also 30 euros i got from home market and here on this um side table uh this side table is also another lamp that i got together with that lamp this actually is more costly than the other lamp that lamp i got for 60 euros but this actually is 70 euros guys it's a thrifted material go online and check how much this costs guys this is very very expensive when i bought this lamp it had some brown um uh, lamp cap and i didn't love it at all it was so ugly so i threw that away and i went to ikea and got this lamp head this one which i find so beautiful and it matches my decor and with these details that are on it and I decided to have this shape so that it can complement the other lamp that I have that way. So guys, it's very expensive but still very beautiful with the gold legs and it, gives, it still matches my decor. So here I just have still the other candle. This same candle, I bought the two of them uh, in action. And then I have this candle. Look how beautiful that candle is, guys. It says pureness. This candle I also got from Action. It's a bowl of candle. I've been lighting this and it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. And it's very durable. I've been lighting these candles. It doesn't get finished. It's so, so nice, guys. Here, guys, is a two-place sitter. That's a two-place sofa. So on this two on this two place sitter, it's still um, this uh, cushion is a sixty by sixty, and these uh, cushion covers I made it myself. And this ones I got it from I H uh, and M Home. All oh, the two of them, and this is a fifty by fifty and a fifty by fifty. I just love the way it lies on my sofa. And guys, also when we came to this home here. When you look outwards, you're going to see my entryway, guys. When we came to this home, home there were so many uh, doors that were out. And there were, that other side was blocked, but we have to open that to make it the entryway through that side. So this place was a door, but it was open. So the entrance was straight this way. But I wanted to have this confinement to make my living space uh, in a conversational area. So I decided to block this door and this door, my husband, we found this on Facebook marketplace and we went right away and got it French door guys. And I still wanted to have that view to my, to my, uh, entry, entryway. So I didn't want anything that would just cover this space and make it, I like a lot of light guys. Anything that can bring light into my home, I'm in. So we went ahead and had this, uh, door from Facebook marketplace with this, um this french style door and my it was a brown wood too my husband decided to paint this uh, um white 
next is this my rock this carpet guys i bought this carpet in a shop in brussels guys this is a big carpet it's very large it envelops all my sofas and i love it because it has this beautiful beige color with the black details on it and the gold details around it guys it binds the kind of decor i'm going for see this beautiful black gold details this is very beautiful guys and this is the same carpet i have in my former living room space i bought same kind but this is bigger than the ones in my former living room space guys so guys that is the end of our of my spring living room tour there are many other renovations that are supposed to be done in the home like the light fixtures are going to be changed and everything there's still a lot of renovations that I'll, I'll be doing this house is only we are here for around three years now we have been here for around three years now and uh, we have done some little changes the living room other changes will be coming like my kitchen renovation is a big project that will be coming on soon my dining room makeover will be coming up and then you'll be having some my bathroom makeover in short there are a lot of interesting videos that will be coming up and then when i'm done i'll be doing a general house tour so that my fans should know how i live my life and what i do and my style of decor so guys please thumbs up for my video don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am only 10 months old and I need your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you in my next video, guys. Bye.